to Inveraw Kitchen and fast approaching Christmas. This time we were going to talk to you about a whole haunch of the most amazing roe deer venison from Cammy Simpson and his team. Good work chaps, they've been working very hard again. So this is a haunch of venison, two kilos more or less, and it's probably going to feed about four people with a little bit left over. What we want to do is we want to put it into a big roasting tin and underneath it we're going to put a bunch of vegetables so onions, carrots, celery, thyme, rosemary and bay. So if they go in there, you stick that in there Ferdy, just to spread it all around nice and easy and I'm going to just cut the enough on this just to pull it back a little bit so that when we put it in the oven it fits more in the tray. So those will just go in any which way you like. And what we're also going to put in are some juniper berries and some cinnamon. Ground cinnamon goes really well with venison. I've said it before, lots of people think it's a bit weird, but it is absolutely fantastic. And that will go on the meat. And on top of that, we're going to put some very thin pancetta -y sort of bacon. You could use uh, cool or you could use thicker uh, streaky bacon, but I like the super thin stuff. We're going to cook it underneath a bit of tin foil to start with for 15 minutes to every 450 grams. So that's 400, call it 500 grams. So it's about an hour in the oven at 180. And there we are, look at that, easy. All this is going to cook down. We'll put the, would you like to put some juniper berries in? And we're going to put some thin, super thin, look how thin. We'll do a bit of this first. You see, and this will really mix well with the red wine gravy. You can have red currant jelly and cream. Um, that should stick those just in the in the bits underneath. That'll do. There were no, there was no cream. Uh, sorry, no, not no cream. There was no red currant jelly anywhere. We've run out of everything that good old. More, more has made for us. So we're going to have to go for the different thing. We might have some rather bitter black currant jelly that we made in the summer, or just go with the red wine. Okay, Bird, could you get some pepper ready? It's up here. And we're going to do a bit more pepper over the top. And the reason that you do this with the bacon is it just holds the juice in. I don't like to have my roe deer cooked for a very long time. Some people will have this slow cooked. I think it's got to be fairly quick, so it's still quite rare because I like it bloody and I like it to be soft and melt in the mouth. Now I am going to just put a little bit of wine in the bottom of here. A nice riochery wine. Oops. There you go. I'm going to get your shoes. And a bit of olive oil over everything. Look at how loose that. It's very easy, it's very quick, it's really simple, it's very straightforward. It doesn't need to be difficult. You want to put this in and then leave it for probably 45 minutes covered and then go for a walk, cook some vegetables, cook whatever and come back and check it out in a minute. We're having this with Dauphinoise potatoes and some purple sprouted broccoli. Um, so we're going to put this in the oven and we'll check out, see what it looks like in about 45 minutes. Okay, so here we are. Now, it's going to be pretty bloody, I would say. Yeah, look, there's lots of good blood coming through, which is what we want. This is, needs to still cook, but look at the juice underneath. The veggies are, whoops, the veggies are slowly doing their thing. had a chance to do its last cooking and it's now sat for a little while. Probably want to leave it to sit for 15-20 minutes under a bit of tin pot. And then what we want to do is we're going to take the meat out of the vegetables. We're going to keep that warm over here. And then Ferdy is going to make some delicious gravy. 
you're just letting this all bubble away. I like it all bubbling with everything in there and put a bit more cinnamon in because it goes well. I've done a little bit of this one, do a little bit more. It's quite weird underneath, but hey ho, tastes all right. 